Well, I'm gonna do a GameStop rant again. The other one's low. You know what I hate? Is when the game doesn't come with the original case. Like this is what a game's supposed to come with. A green case like that. But this one came with a case, it's not even a real thing. It's flimsy, it's flat, it feels like it's made in China, like it's ready to break. Um, the next thing I want to touch on is what most people already have, but I'm going to just go on and say, you know what's really bullshit is when they charge you for a new game. Like this says 19 bucks. Had this been like 60. It would still be 60, and the game would say new, but... Hello, the employee took it home, that, I guess, one day, and brought it back, puts it on a shelf, and then says, oh, this is the last copy, so we're going to put one of these things on it. No, that's not what happened. Y'all asked, went home, freaking opened the case. So, and they used it. Because I remember one time, the Nintendo when I was buying a Nintendo Wii game, the club Nintendo points was not even in there in the um, case. So why, why, why would you bother saying, oh, this is the last copy, so we have to do that? Bullshit. Another thing is like when they're, the price is like 60 on a new game, the used copy would be 54. 99. So why, what, what kind of savings is that? It's like only five bucks. And I bet if I went to trade in one of these games, it'll be only one to give me like one dollar for it. I don't think so. Sorry, I won't play it. Another thing that I really want to touch on. They're known for, um, I guess, trading in their games. I guess they play on their little. I guess I go to the door. It says we'll take any used game. Any used game, really? I have not seen any of these in that store. And they said they'll take any use game. How the fuck can you claim that and you don't even do that? Sorry, that's not honoring you. Okay. In fact, I haven't seen a Super Nintendo in a game in a GameStop store since EB was taken over. So, and that was back in 05. Um, 05, 06. So, yeah. GameStop would be better if they would sell these things. These are called Super Nintendo games for any idiot that doesn't know. Why would I say that? Because, well, same for 60. I like the older games better. They're just more fun to play. And it would help to not have to go on Amazon or fucking eBay just get another Super Nintendo or a Super Nintendo game. Last thing I want to talk about is how sometimes they plaster stickers all over the cases. Like here, for example, you see pre owned, it says $44.99. Then you go in the back, it's another sticker right there. I, I took off another one that was on the side already. And then the, this one has double, it has like two stickers. As you can see, I'm peeling it off, and there's one right behind it. That's another thing. And again, how they don't come, with, some of them don't come with a case. It can get even worse. Some will come with a case like this. This plasticky, more worse case than that one I showed you. Um, it's just GameStop. It has people fighting over controllers, I guess. Kind of game. Ten percent off used games, yeah, okay. And again, they plaster the sticker on all over the place. So it's hard to get off. Now, uh, and I want to touch on when you go buy something. You're like, can I help you? I'm sorry. I, I don't need your help. I know what the hell I'm looking for. And if you don't have it, I'm not going to even ask you for it. And the next thing, and then when you go to the cashier, you should pay. I was paying off my pre-order, so I pre off that, and they said, "You want to pre-order anything?" No, I said, "I'm." Like, That's what I don't like. It's when they ask you if you want to pre-order something, and I'm like, "No," and they'll continue to sit there and say, 
Are you sure? I'm sorry. I already said no once, so I'm going to say it again. That's stupid. Why would I want to pre order a game? There's like millions of copies. It's not going to be rare. It's not like from the 64 area or I guess the Super Nintendo era, as you could call it. Where there'll be too many games, so they'll only produce so many cartridges. GameSubs doesn't want to learn. People don't want their damn. P if people don't want to pre-order, people don't want to pre-order. It's that simple. And I think they should just change their name because it's not actually called a GameStop. It's called. It's, I would just call it a goddamn dumb stop because that's all you got. That people that work there are dumb people. They, they act like they know shit about gaming. They be wearing these damn Call of Duty shirts and all that other bullshit. And I was the newbie asking them for a certain game, and they'd be like, Oh, what is that? I, don't, I haven't heard of that. And it's so fucking ridiculous. Well, that's my rant on how GameStop sucks. On oh why. Why should. I think they should open more stores. Because now I'm stuck, I'm stuck using them. Because the Walmart... Walmart is way worse. Because they don't have the games they don't carry. And they don't even drop the prices. And when they do put them... Drop the prices, they'll throw them in this bin that you have to keep searching. Like, digging through. I mean, who wants to sit there and dig and dig and dig and dig over through hundreds of games just to find what you're looking for? Sorry. Walmart and GameStop, they both suck. As far as used games and cheap games. Um, GameStop hasn't been the same since, like, 2006. The last time they carried a Super Nintendo game, I'd say. Ever since then, I, I really have a dis pleased with them because they don't take Super Nintendo games or get N64 games. It's much, it would be much more easier for people to find these things if the game stuff would sell them. What would they do with the one? And I got a good question. What the hell did they do with all the ones that they have not sold when they stopped carrying them? I wonder what the hell they do. Do they take them and throw them in a dumpster? Or throw them in the garbage? That's a waste of cartridges. It is.